Whoa, am I in space right now? Or am I in beautiful San Francisco? Or maybe I'm on a tropical beach. <laughs> Surf's up. I'm actually in none of those places. I'm just here in my one bedroom apartment. But thanks to the amazingness that is Zoom, nobody has to see this background. You can set whatever you want as your background. Now for the audience, you're gonna to want to set your background to look like this. It's really easy, let's get into it. Now you should have this Audis file. Save it somewhere accessible like your desktop. First, you're gonna to wanna to open the Zoom app. Note, it's not gonna work if you use the website. It has to be the app that's downloaded. Once you open it, it's gonna look something like this. It might look slightly different if you're using something like Microsoft, but don't panic. You're gonna go up here where it says Zoom, and then you're gonna find Preferences, and then you're gonna see some various settings. Click on Backgrounds and Effects. Hi me. Here you'll see a number of different backgrounds that are provided by Zoom. Um, and of course, if you'd like to blur your background, go to San Francisco like I have, shrink down into the grass, um, or maybe enjoy some uh, Aurora Borealis, you can click on those. But we're not gonna do those uh, for the audience. Instead, click on this plus sign here where it says Add Image or Video. And go to Add Image. And from there, you'll find the background file. So open that up and you're good to go. One other note, make sure that I have a green screen is not selected. Otherwise your background might look a little weird like this. Ugh. Once your background looks like this, you're ready for the Audis. But I encourage you to enjoy some other backgrounds in future meetings. Go ahead, do some exploring. And who knows, maybe you'll learn some other tricks along the way. Wow, good work, Paul. Enjoy some coffee on me. Thanks. Cheers.